Islands of Ireland Did you know that Ireland is the third largest island in Europe? An island itself, Ireland is surrounded by smaller islands and islets. Only 20 out of the 80 Irish islands are inhabited, but most of them are accessible. Come on, let's take a trip to the islands of Ireland. Welcome to All About Ireland series. This is the Lifehack Lion, the channel that gives you amazing life hacks and interesting facts. Make sure to watch this video till the end because you don't want to miss the Paradisal Island. Number 10. The Skellig Islands These are the towering sea crags that put Star Wars in the shade. Skellig Islands might have earned its stratospheric level of fame due to its recent appearance in Star Wars, but it is undeniable that it is, alone, a majestic art of nature worthy of its fame. Considered a UNESCO World Heritage Site, these islands have several impressive ruins of six beehive cells, two oratories, several stone crosses and slabs, as well as a late medieval church. The Skellig Islands are also one of Ireland's most important sites for breeding seabird, both in terms of colonies and diversity of species. These islands just show a perfect combination of history and nature. Number 9. Aran Islands Within the stunning blue waters of Galway Bay, you will see the three Aran Islands, the Inishmoor, the Inishir, and the Inishma'an. Inishmoor is the largest, the farthest, and most visited of the Aran Islands. There are over 50 different monuments of Christian, pre-Christian, and Celtic mythological heritage scattered all over, in addition to beautiful, untouched beaches and a rugged landscape. Meanwhile, the Inishir is the smallest of the Aran Islands. It resembles the Burren with its limestone rocks and their eclectic mix of color. Inishman is the middle and the least known of the three islands. However, it is the most unchanged of the three and is a botanical haven that has an exceptional range of flora. From the shores of Inishir and Inishman, you can see a splendid panoramic view of the cliffs of Moher. Overall, the Aran Islands are your perfect weekend getaway. Number 8. Clare Island Lying off the Mayo Coast at the mouth of Clue Bay, the Clare Island is the birthplace of the feared and respected pirate queen, Grand New Alley, who ruled the waters of Clue Bay and Galway for 30 years in the 16th century. The island's complex history can be read through its landscape, from archaeological remains of the Neolithic and Bronze Age to rare medieval wall paintings in the 14th century abbey. Its spectacular cliffs are home to large numbers of nesting seabirds, and its hills, bogs, and woodlands make it ideal for hill walking. Offshore, the clear waters surrounding the island are known for their exceptional dive sites. Meanwhile, the island itself is known for its lively nightlife, live music, and regular summer festivals. Number 7. Inishbofin Island it is a beautiful island off the west coast of Connemara. Inishbofin Island is home to plenty of seabirds and an ideal place for outdoor lovers. There are options for wild swimming, diving, hiking, horse riding, and other water sports. Bofin Arbor is the most picturesque natural arbor as it is surrounded almost entirely by steep rocky outcroppings. On the south side sits the lighthouse and the cliffs beyond are topped with a magnificent ruin of a Cromwellian star fort. The island is a delightful escape from modern life. You can ride your bike all over the island and you will be rewarded by expansive views of the neighboring islets and coasts of Connemara and County Mayo, stretching northeastwards towards Croag Patrick. Number 6. Ackle Island being the largest island off Ireland's coast, Ackle Island is accessible by bridge. It is home to five picture postcard blue flag beaches, some of Europe's highest cliffs and large tracts of blanket bog sweeping over the island's two peaks and down to the shore. Ackle Island has a long history of human settlement with megalithic tombs and promontory forts dating back 5,000 years. 
The island houses a 15th century fortified tower house, Kildamite Nate Castle, the 19th century Echo Mission, and the pointed deserted villages at Slave Moor and Isle. Walking and cycling along the quiet lanes and trails are wonderful ways to discover the island's interior and explore well-renowned craft shops and art galleries. Offshore, there are plenty of opportunities for you to fish, surf, dive, and kayak. Number 5. Rathlin Island Located in the northernmost part of Northern Ireland, Rathlin Island is the only inhabited island off the shores of the region. Due to its geographical position, the island has long had associations with both Ireland and Scotland, and it once lay at the heart of the ancient kingdom of Dalariada. Today, Rathlin has modern transportation, communications, and tourist facilities, and a small but steadily rising population of around 150 people. It is also home to tens of thousands of seabirds with a total of roughly 30 bird species. The island has a bird sanctuary and a great place for bird watching. See if you can spot puffins. Number 4. Blasket Island Out on the very edge of Europe, off the Dingle Peninsula, lie the mystical Blasket Islands, a small archipelago renowned for its storytellers. After many years of hardship and immigration, the last inhabitants left in 1953. Today, the islands are uninhabited, but you can celebrate the story of the Blasket Islanders and their unique literary tradition at the Blasket Center. The way of life on these remote Atlantic islands has been documented by the islanders themselves who wrote their stories down. And from these came three great works the autobiography of Peg Sayers, The Island Men by Thomas O. Cryompton, and 20 Years A Growing by Muris O. Sulabiang. During the summer months, you can visit the Great Blasket Island and see its magnificent beauty and rugged wildness. The waters surrounding the island are teeming with life. You can expect to see basking sharks, dolphins, minkle whales, and seals. Up at the dramatic sea cliff, you can catch a glimpse of a wide variety of bird life, from seabirds to gannets, puffins, and manx sheer waters. Number 3. Cape Clear Island It is the southernmost inhabited part of Ireland, maintaining a population of approximately 120 people. In Cape Clear Island, you can rub shoulders with the Gaeltac community or dig into its rich ancient archaeology. The most notable feature of the island is a signal tower dating from the Napoleonic Wars. The ruins of a 12th century church also stand near the island's main pier. Cape Clear attracts walkers, amateur bird watchers, and ornithologists who man the Cape Clear Bird Observatory during spring and fall. Offshore, there are frequent sightings of whales, dolphins, basking sharks, sunfish, and in one memorable year, over 100 sightings of massive leatherback turtles. Number 2. Valencia Island Located off the southwest coast of County Kerry, Valencia Island is still one of Ireland's best-kept secrets. Although the Vikings plundered all over Ireland a thousand years ago, they left Valencia Island untouched. It is preserved with pre-Christian remains, a famous grotto, and the footsteps of ancient life forms. Particularly, there is a set of tracks made by a four-legged amphibian known as a tetrapod, and said tracks were made over 350 million years ago. Valencia was also the location of the eastern terminal of the first commercially viable transatlantic telegraph cable. One of the most popular attractions on the island is the Glan Lim House, which is famous for its subtropical gardens created by the 19th Knight of Kerry during the 19th century. The gardens spread across 40 acres, flourishing with plants from all around the world. And number one. Here's what you're waiting for. Garnish Island It is a paradisal place resembling more of a Roman villa than an Irish island. Located in the sheltered arbor of Glangariff in Bantry Bay in West Cork, 
Garnish Island is famous for its beautiful gardens. Designed by architect Harold Pito for the island's then owner, John Annan Bryce. Due to its sheltered situation and the warming oceanic influence of the Gulf Stream, the climate is in some respect almost subtropical and is favorable to the growth of ornamental plants from many parts of the world. The vivid colors of rhododendrons and azaleas reach their peak during May and June, while the hundreds of cultivars of climbing plants, herbaceous perennials, and choice shrubs dominate the midsummer period from June to August. Garnish Island also houses a Martello Tower dating back to the Napoleonic Wars and a colony of Arbor Seal. Which island is your favorite? Do you have any requests for our next video? Let us know in the comment section below. If you find this video interesting, we'd love you to support us for more life hacks and interesting facts.